colloidal silver. Is this really toxic to our dogs and cats that the FDA says? Or is it really helpful as many alternative practitioners suggest? I encourage you to find out in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Should you really be using this stuff, colloidal silver, on yourself, your dogs, your cats? Well, I'm not really qualified to speak on the topic of people. If I were to have a sore throat, hmm, I'd be considering colloidal silver. I can choose to ingest what I want to ingest, right? But the last thing you wanna be doing is harming your dog or cat, right? You're looking for some type of alternative. You watch something on gasp the internet. Some vet says, yeah, it's okay to give this stuff and you hurt your dogs. So is this beneficial? or is it harmful? Colloidal silver is sub-microscopic particles of silver that are suspended in water. Just looks like an off-white fluid. In its metallic form, like a silver ring, silver is an inert metal. But when it's turned into sub-microscopic particles, it's called, known as monoatomic, then you suspend it in water, then it becomes biologically active. And interestingly, it's been studied and is now seen to have antibacterial effects based on inactivating enzymes that the bacteria used to grow. And one of the really interesting things about colloidal silver, it has high microbiocidal activity against these bacteria at really low, low, low concentrations. In really small amounts, teeny tiny amounts of the colloidal silver to be effective against some of the bacteria that we're trying to treat with your dog or cat. And I'm not making this up. Interesting, a few years ago, there was a paper published in Spain. The paper is titled, The Antibacterial of Colloidal Silver Against Gram-Negative and Gram-Positive Bacteria. Big positive I see out of this study is that they were able to show that for many of these different common bacteria that are now becoming multi-drug resistant, they responded to colloidal silver. The authors do conclude, obviously more research is needed but it is possible that the FDA statement that gasp, this is horrible, potentially toxic, should never be ingested, keep it away from your kids, your pets, it's possible that statement isn't exactly accurate. And more than anything, that just further reinforces some of the stuff I've seen. I saw dogs and cats just being treated with colloidal silver, these guys having pretty serious abscesses, and these animals responded. But then what about the issue of safety? in terms of all those reported side effects of colloidal silver. You know, it damages the organs, the liver, the kidneys. Turning the skin blue, argyria. Another study is titled, The Evaluation of the Acute Toxicity of Colloidal Silver Nanoparticles. This was a study on lab animals. No, it wasn't dogs and cats, but they were giving doses of 5,000 milligrams per kilo, which is over 1 million times the suggested dose. Not 10 times, not 100 times, not a thousand times, one million times the dose. To put that dose into perspective, that would be like you consuming 30,000 bottles of colloidal silver a day. 30,000 a day. That would be like Tula consuming 3,000 of these bottles. That's the amount of colloidal silver they were giving in the study, and you would not believe what they found. The study found that the oral equivalent of you taking 30,000 bottles of these a day, it produced no toxic signs when it was given orally and applied topically. That's right, no measurable signs of toxicity. Yes, this is a study of rodents, it is not dogs and cats, it's not people, but come on, like the equivalent of you taking 30,000 bottles, no toxic signs? The study came to the conclusion that colloidal silver it could be considered relatively safe. And I'm gonna to link to that study as well. So we've got one study showing that colloidal silver can be really effective antibacterial, then we have a second study showing that it is very safe. And there is a ton of antidotal evidence of pet parents exactly like yourself using colloidal silver on their dogs and cats and seeing some pretty good results. And it's just nice to see some science backing it up. I would suggest doses of one microgram per pound. A 10 pound dog would be getting 10 micrograms. Every colloidal silver bottle is different, so you need to know the concentration and how many micrograms per mil. So for instance, in this colloidal silver, each mil, which is one dropper full here, it is 20 micrograms. So a little 20 pound Tula 
This would be your dose, 20 micrograms. If she was 10 pounds, I would squirt out approximately half of it, which would take us to about there. And that would be your dose, 10 micrograms. If Tula were to have a bacterial bladder infection, I'd be giving her 10 micrograms twice a day for 14 days. If your pet has an abscess, a surface skin infection, you can also use the spray on a little silver. Just spray it right on top of that wound. You know, three or four or five pumps, whatever you need to fully cover that wound. And do that at least twice a day. My point in all this, I really think that colloidal silver, it is a great alternative option. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets of my colloidal silver update. Click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.